Francois Hubert was a Swiss entomologist. Entomologists are interested in insects. And he was sure interested in insects, specifically in bees. And he was blind. But luckily, he had a good helper and he had a wife who became his eyes. Bees. They are fascinating creatures. And he was very, very into studying their stingers. And the honeybee has a stinger at its rear. And when it stings, the stinger stays in the tissue. Now, what happens after that? When the bee tries to fly away, the stinger is left behind. And eventually, the bee dies. Its guts are pulled out. But as that happens, a scent is released into the air that alarms other bees. And they come to the aid of the one who has made the ultimate sacrifice with his life because he has told the other bees that there's protection for the colony that is needed. So Hubert carried out some very interesting experiments. He took some of the stingers, he macerated them, put them in front of a beehive, and noticed that the bees were alarmed. And they came out and swarmed looking for the attacker. Of course, in those days, they weren't able to identify chemicals, so he didn't know what this scent was. It was only in 1962 that uh, Canadian researchers looked into this, uh, this problem. And they took the stingers and macerated them. And they noticed that they smelled like bananas. They wanted to find out what was going on. So they took the macerated stingers, extracted them, injected the extract into a machine we call a gas chromatograph. Gas chromatograph has a gas that pushes a sample through a column, which has material in it to which different compounds stick to different extents. And when they emerge from the column, there's a recording on a chart paper. You get peaks. Each peak represents a different compound. Well, because these researchers had sniffed banana in this mixture, they figured that there must be some compound in there that had the smell of bananas. And believe it or not, a compound known as isoamyl acetate had been known for over a hundred years, long before any analysis, because way back in the 1800s, chemists were already able to mix together certain chemicals to form new ones. And they had taken uh, isoamyl alcohol and acetic acid, mixed the two together, got isoamyl acetate, and noted that it was the smell of bananas, long before the smell of bananas had ever been actually studied. But in 1962, these Canadian researchers confirmed that there was a compound in the stinger of the bee that was exactly the same as what you find in bananas. That was isoamyl uh, acetate. And this is the alarm pheromone of the honeybee. This is what it releases when it has stung someone, and that tells the other bees, you better come and help. Well, isoamyl acetate can be very readily made in the laboratory. And indeed, it is available as artificial banana flavor. Now, even though that isoamyl acetate is exactly the same compound that you find in bananas, by law, it has to be labeled as artificial because it is made in the lab. But of course, it can be made uh, much more cheaply than one would extract it from uh, bananas. So that's artificial banana flavoring, but it actually is identical to natural banana flavoring. Well, in the future, we may have to be using more of this artificial uh, flavoring because the Cavendish banana, which is the one that we find mostly in, in grocery stores, um, does not have a very good prognosis uh, in terms of, of history because there's a fungal disease called the Panama disease that is destroying the Cavendish banana. And unless a method is found to solve this problem, eventually we won't have it. Well, of course, scientists are working on it, uh, trying to see if they can come up with a genetically modified uh, a banana that will resist this fungus, but so far it isn't uh, available. So isoamyl acetate is found in bananas. It is the alarm pheromone of the honeybee. So the question comes up, is there any risk in eating a banana around a honeybee hive? Turns out that there isn't. And uh, it seems that uh, one single banana does not release enough uh, isoamyl acetate to alarm the honeybees. So you can go ahead, eat your banana around the beehive, 
and you don't have to beware. <laughs>